Hey guys, Jono here from Ecomex SEO. In this video, I just want to have a bit of a, a quick uh, overview of using a blog for your e-commerce store. Certainly, it's a great thing to do, and there's in the probably the last sort of four or five years of e-commerce, there's been a lot of chatter about utilising a blog uh, to drive traffic to your store. And certainly, a blog used in the right way can drive traffic, but it can also be used. Uh, to really boost the relevancy and, and the uh, the power of your entire e-commerce store. So certainly we recommend um, our clients and, and, also, and we use on our own uh, e-commerce stores and our own Shopify stores uh, that uh, you should use a blog. But they need to be set up in the right way. And Shopify uh, doesn't have a great blog system. It obviously wasn't created as a blog um, a blogging platform that was created as an e-commerce platform, and it almost seems like the, the blog has been added as, a, as an afterthought. So I'm just going to go through and uh, talk about how we blog for our e-commerce stores and some of the options you've got. So with uh, a standard Shopify store, you have got the you do have a blog option in there, and the way the URL structure is set up is your domain slash blog, it's actually slash blogs, slash blog name, so that would be, you would name your blog as uh, something relevant to your e-commerce store. And you can actually have as many different blogs. I've sort of set it up so you can have um, a number of different blogs. Um, it's almost like you could create uh, different categories uh, or you can create different categories uh, with that URL blog setup. And then you would have your blog post um, URL. So that would be the name of uh, your blog post. But that obviously becomes quite a long URL. Uh, you don't have, because this part of the URL is always blogs, a little bit like what they've done with um, collection pages and also product pages where you have slash collection, slash collection name or slash collection, uh, sorry, slash product, slash product name. It's not ideal for SEO. So, and then you obviously have your blog name and that, that can help because within the blog name, you can add in some relevancy and, and your keywords uh, within your URL, which is still really important uh, if you do it correctly. Um, within your URL for blogging. And then you have your blog post, which you have control over. So you've got control over these two elements, but not this middle element. And it also becomes a long, a long URL. So we like to have um, any page or whether it's a product page, a blog post page, as close to the core as possible. You can still have different categories and you can still um, set up uh, different elements within the blog or a site. But having, we find having the um, the actual page that you want to rank and index and, and driving traffic as close to the core as possible because your core in most cases is going to be um, the strongest part of your URL. So we don't use the Shopify blog um, for those reasons. The other, there's two other options. The next option, you can create a brand new uh, domain or, or um, set up a brand new domain and put your blog on that. There's a lot of stores that actually do that. Um, it works fantastically well. The downside of that is you need to maintain uh, and build power and strength and relevance if you're going to be doing off-page um, to that domain along with your e-commerce store. You can link it all up correctly and, and uh, really drive relevance between the two, but you are essentially dealing with two sites and obviously you would also be starting from scratch if you buy a brand new domain uh, for a blog especially if your e-commerce store has been uh, ticking along for a little bit of time what we like to do is use a subdomain uh, within your actual store domain so this part here would be your actual shopify store and then we set up a wordpress blog on a subdomain of your core domain so essentially you just set up your dns records uh, at your domain register and you point your records to a host so you need you would actually need to uh, set up a hosting service and they you know depending on what sort of detail and what sort of quality you want um, you can start really cheaply um, but we'll also always recommend that you try and uh, set up on the highest quality hosting you can so then you've got your blog set up actually part of your core dom core domain now, the benefit of this is some people argue that you don't gain any relevance to your subdomain from your core domain. So let's say you've been running your e-commerce store for two or three years already and you've built up a bit of power and relevance and it's ranking quite well. And then you set up your blog and you can actually, it does actually help to pass 
some relevancy and authority to your subdomain from your core domain. Some people will argue, and actually Google says that if you set up a subdomain, it's 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 categorized essentially as a brand new domain. But we see over and over and over again, so actually evidence at the, the coalface that if you set up a subdomain, especially on a, on a core domain that's actually already got a bit of um, a bit of age and and a bit of ranking power, the blog will take off much quicker. So that to us is the evidence that um, this is the better way to go, uh, even for a brand new domain, because then you, you whenever you're building the strength and power of this core domain, it's going to flow through to your subdomain much easier than what it would from uh, one domain to another domain. And then also the downside of having uh, this the, the setup they have for Shopify blogs. Now, ideally, if Shopify was able to set up their blog system correctly and the URL structure correctly, then this would be the better way to go um, using the core domain. But at the moment, that's not the way it works. So the better option that we see working best uh, day to day working with our clients and our own stores is having a subdomain. You can also have 100% control on the speed of your blog. You can have 100% um, control of your URL structure and everything else that goes with it. And apart from the fact all those elements, um, you can use WordPress, which is actually um, the best, one of the best blogging platforms out there. So this blog here is a is actually on the subdomain uh, on one of our stores. So you can see that with the subdomain, we've actually created and it's health dot then the core domain so but we could you know you can use this to create hyper relevancy for your blog so let's say you have a, um, a, a pet supplement e-commerce store for example you could actually set up the subdomain and have the core term pet supplements in as part of um, this subdomain and then have your brand name which will be your e-commerce store. So if you're starting from scratch, it, it's worth having a bit of a think about um, this sort of thing rather than um, just coming up with a brand name and then ensuring that you can actually use your subdomain in the right way if you are going to set up a blog. Now, using a blog on your e-commerce store, a lot of people just talk about pushing out content, which obviously is a big part of actually generating some visitors and traffic to your blog and then uh, consequently they can be... Um, pushed through to your e-commerce store. But there's a number of other uh, powerful benefits of actually using a blog. And we use it use a blog uh, to our e-commerce store in a number of different ways. If you want to see how we do it, all you need to do is head on over to our Facebook group, our, our free private Facebook group. Um, just click the join now button and we'll approve you if you just answer a couple of simple questions. We want to keep the, uh, the members in there high quality. And this video will be in there and actually um, the next section of the video will have a little bit more detail explaining how we actually use blogs to the best um, their best capacity for our e-commerce stores. So just click the link uh, to the Facebook group in the description below and then you can watch the rest of this video uh, in the Facebook group.